dear students i welcome all of you in the session of traffic engineering and management so since last many sessions we have been discussing about various important topics in the last session we discussed about the excellent studies part 1 now in this session what we are going to do is we are going to continue with the excellent studies so let us learn this particular module the name of the module is traffic accidents causes and prevention we all have learned that what is the importance of handling this accident data we have learned that what are the statistical scenario in india currently as far as the accident situations or the road accident situations are concerned so let us uh, resume the particular session that is about accident studies part 2 so we learned that what are the various causes of the traffic accidents now we will learn that what are the steps that we need to require in order to have proper and adequate accident study so let us learn about that see first thing that we need about the accident study is the collection of accident data because if we do not have the adequate data collected regarding the accident then we will not be able to analyze the data we will not be able to interpret the data we will not be able to interference the data and we won't be able to implement the actual precautionary measures now one important thing is that this data must be collected in the standard irc format now what are the things that we need to collect whenever we are performing the accident data collection so let me tell you that we need to collect the date time and persons involved we need to collect the information related to the location where the accidents took place we need to collect the registration numbers of the cars or the vehicles that have been the part of the accidents then the nature of accident that okay that is the road side accident natural accident what was the reason due to which the accident took place what was the overall reason then what is the type of road condition and what is the type of traffic condition over the particular road where the accidents have taken place then what was the primary route that due to which reason this accident took place we need to uh, collect the data regarding that also and that we need to collect the data regarding the cost of accident that how much loss it has caused in the economy or to the particular person to whom it has caused the accident so the first step is about the collection of accident data this data is to be collected in standard irc format and these are the details which are needed to be covered then the second step is about uses of the, this data if we do not know what are the adequate uses or how to use this available data then we won't be able to conduct the actual traffic study appropriately so we'll divide the uses in the parts of engineering uses enforcement uses administrative and policy uses and educational uses see whenever this data is collected certain interferences certain inferences and certain interpretations are made that okay these are the engineering reasons due to which this accident has taken place these are the lack of rule enforcement due to which the accidents have taken place these are the policy requirements which were not provided due to which the accidents have taken place and this things are also should be the part of the syllabus of the study so that the students who are learning in the school who are studying in the college can also get the exposure about what are the actual reasons due to which this accidents can take place so this is about the use of accident data <laughs> now let us learn in detail the usage of accident data see the first we have discussed that it is about the engineering uses now what are the things that are the part of this engineering uses of this accident data so let me tell you that as far as the engineering data uses are concerned the first thing is about determining the adequate size shape and legibility of the traffic sign that okay this type of and this kind of and this size of 
Traffic signs must be established at the particular accident prone zones. You might have observed on the road stretches that it can be written on the side tracks that this is the accident prone zone or in Hindi you it might have been written that Akasmat Sambhavit Vistar. So that is called as the traffic sign establishment. Then second is about justifying the speed control. If we observe that the majority of accidents are due to over speeding of vehicle, then what we can do is we have to reduce the maximum speed available or maximum available speed or maximum permissible speed. Then planning the pedestrian safety features such as underpass, over bridges, pedestrian signals. See, we might have observed number of times that whenever on the highways the vehicles are driving with full speed, the majority people that are that they, uh, who being the part of the accidents are pedestrians. So there must be safety features provided for the pedestrian planning such as underpass, over bridges. Then there must be safe and efficient street lighting designing. Then horizontal and vertical alignments must be improved so that the curvature are not that much sharp that it can cause accident situation to the drivers. Then adequate side distances in form of stopping side distance, overtaking side distance and side distance intersection should be provided. And then comes the design intersection, that the intersection must design if the situation demands. So this is the first thing that is about the engineering uses. The second is about enforcement uses that involve controlling the pedestrian behavior, enforcing the curb parking regulations, planning and enforcing the vehicle inspection measures, aiding prosecution of offenders in court, and control pedestrian behavior. See, these are the enforcement uses. That means these are certain rules and regulations which regulations which must be implied, which must be implemented, which must be established in order to reduce the number of accidents that involve controlling the pedestrian behavior, then enforcing the parking regulation, planning and enforcing the vehicle inspection measures, aiding the prosecution. That means providing actual lawyers who can sue the particular what I can say uh, guilty person to the court and he or she must be penalized, he or she must be punished and certain enforcement uses such as controlling the pedestrian behavior must be there, I mean sign board should be there that people should not walk on this road, they should walk on this road, this is the particular track on which they are supposed to uh, walk side track should be provided. So this is about that particular thing. Then comes the collection of accident data, accident reports and accident records. See, both are different things. Whenever I tell, I tell you that it is about accident report, then it is something different. And if I say that it is about accident record, then it is also a different thing. So both are totally different thing. See, what is collected actually when it is when we are discussing about collection of accident data. So we will collect the date of accident, time of accident, person involved in the accident, classification of accident, type of accident such as serious, minor, major or moderate. Then we also collect the location data such as the description of the location, that what are the location coordinates what are the GPS coordinates and we will also collect the details about the accident location, the total stretch and the stretch on which the accident has taken place. Then we will also take the details of the vehicles involved such as registration number, description of vehicle, loading detail that whether the vehicle was heavy loaded or not, if the vehicle had certain kind of defects or not and then it is about the nature of accident. That, that whether pedestrians or objects are involved or not, pedestrian has been injured or hurt or not, then what are the types of collision has taken place, what are the damages the, ro uh, the road has uh, faced, means if accident takes place, we all know that certain part of, part of median gets damaged, crash barriers get damaged, road gets damaged, so what are the damages and then what are the injuries. This is about the collection of accident data. 
Then comes road and traffic condition. We'll collect the details of road geometry. We'll de collect the details that okay, what are the horizontal alignment details? What are the vertical alignment details? What are the kind of intersections provided? What are the geometry intersections provided? What are the kind of intersection of rotary provided? Whether the carriageway is of sufficient width or not? Whether the shoulder is of sufficient width or not? If the mechanical widening and psychological widening is sufficiently provided or not? If the surface characteristics are bad, the what are the kind of pavement surface characteristics? What is the type of friction provided? What is the kind of a light reflecting characteristics of the pavement? What is the type of traffic, usual traffic, whether it is low traffic, medium traffic or heavy traffic? And what is the kind of density is there? So we will collect the detail about the road and traffic conditions. Then comes the primary causes of accident that the details of various possible causes I have already mentioned which are the main causes of the accident. Then comes the accident cost. The accident cost involves financial losses which are incurred due to the property damage, personal injury and they are computed in terms of rupees. So this was all about the collection of data. Let us discuss about the accident report first. See, as you all know that the accident should be reported to the police authority. See, if you want to uh, analyze that on the SG highway, I am explaining with the help of an example that if you want to learn that during, between the stretch of ISKCON to Sarkhej, how many accidents usually take place, then you have to collect the data from which department. You have to go to police station with certain LOR letter of recommendation and from there and then also, you then only you will be available, you will be able to collect the accident report. So this accident report should be reported to the accident should be reported to the police authorities and it is useful for the analysis, claim for compensation and evaluation of cost. So this was all about this session. We will continue the session in next particular uh, PPT.